right, we're streaming, we're live, <laughs> we're live again. All right, in this um, tutorial, we're going to look at um, taking a vocal, adding some reverb on it, and then having the reverb duck by the actual vocal itself. So the actual the 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 vowels and things of the vocal will come through really clear, and we still get the tail of the reverb. Um, it's a bit hard to explain. So when we apply a reverb to a vocal, for example, we can do like a dry wet, but um, to then duck the beginning of the reverb away from the vocal so we get the clear uh, pronunciation, uh, we kind of need to do a whole bunch of funny things. So in Bitwig, we've got some really cool things we can use. So I'm going to quickly just create another uh, audio track. This is my template, the template that we made um, earlier, so we're going to use that. So I'm going to um, create a new audio channel and I'm going to send it to the vocal bus and then I'm going to drag in this vocal onto here and let's I can't get turn down my monitors a lot I can't get no sleep tonight This is the vocal just try There is no release inside Life can't be one crazy ride God knows how much I have tried to... Alright, so I want to add some reverb onto that. So if I added the reverb straight off, um, what we normally do is just add a reverb, reverb like that and use the mix, sort of dry, wet sort of thing, and uh, play around with the size and that sort of stuff. I can't get no sleep tonight. There is no if you start bringing the, um, the mix up quite a lot, the vocal disappears, so we don't want that. We want we want a clean vocal. So how we get how we do some Bitwig is awesome. So what I need to do is I need to go in here, and I need to grab um, an effects layer because it's a, an audio track. It's on an audio channel. We need that. Now if I um, solo this now, nothing's coming through um, because we have nothing activated in our effects layer. So if I turn it off, we can hear the vocal again. So. Uh, to get around this issue, I'm going to load on a tool. So just a straight off tool. So now the vocal's no coming through tool, um, full volume, is no which is fine. Now this is where it gets awesome. Uh, we're going to use the um, the new audio receiver. So it's down the bottom here somewhere. Audio receiver. And if I click on that now, I have nothing coming through. But if I solo my tool, I'll get the vocal coming through. So what we need to do now is in the audio receiver is if it's not open you just double click on it opens up here. We're going to select the input source. So we're going to go down to our channel. We've got channel 6 at the moment. Uh, I want to go to um, effects chains. I want to go pre and I now I should be able to hear no my vocal coming through. Tonight. Great. Uh, now we need to add the reverb. So while this is open we're going to add um, to this device the reverb, so we're going to select that, and I'm going to push the mix all the way up to 100%. So we should just hear reverb. No all right, so that's a reverb. So if we um, mute that now, we just hear the dry no vocal sleep. from the top um, device here. And if we unmute that, we should have both playing. No all right, so that's cool. Um, so let's go back to our reverb. Now we want to duck the reverb away, so let's actually add a whole ton of reverb on. No okay, so it's no sounding like it was before inside. the vocals getting washed out. So let's um, add on a dynamics compressor. And what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to select the input and it's going to be um, the same channel and we're going to use effects chains. We're going to go uh, I guess tool pre and what we're going to do then is switch us to RMS and then we're going to bring down the ratio and the threshold. I can't get no sleep tonight. Uh, attack, there release. Is no release inside. Let's just solo this. So now you just need to muck around with the threshold, the attack and release and the ratio to get something that you like. But you can actually hear the reverb ducking out of the way. So now if we um, add everything back in, you can hear the vocal coming through really clean, really crisp, and we get that really long reverb. And that's a neat little trick that we can use in Bitwig. And this is awesome. I love this. This is great. The audio receiver is awesome. It's a great little tool. So we can put this to use now. 
The same thing works with delays, so we can just add in an, a delay in here as well. Let's add in a delay too. Yeah, <laughs> sound really messed up. Turn the reverb off, and it's doing the same thing, it's ducking the um, delay, so if I just solo that, you can hear the reverb, I mean the delay, ducking out of the way. Awesome. Alright, so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, it's a little quick one, but um, this is a neat way to add a lot of reverb to your vocal and still have it come through clearer in the mix.